avatar.me follow the instruction and it will produce your 3d model you can change the configuration of the avatar okay then we go to the next section the hairstyle okay, next clothing Okay, the kind of animation once you are done with the configuration you can click the download button and click download to get the model here you go i got the model and then read the instruction on how to import into unity the website have a few tips for you to import your file into unity you go to google and search for how to install unity glt fast this is the documentation in the name of the field enter this community.cloud.glt fast so you can use this method or you can find other methods to install there are a few methods let's try this technique given by unity add package by name package name i paste the name community cloud git fast add once it's done you can see under the package manager one of the package that you have is unity glt fast i got version 670 now we can close and try to import to our project we will copy drag and drop the model.glb file from abatten website and drop it into our asset okay if it's successful you can see your model here you can try to drag onto the scene to see how it looks like we choose something that we have a replace I choose triangle start with changing the source image of the object icon so the triangle is actually the wedge import new asset on the download okay I import okay this photo I cut and put it in my Imran folder okay so in the Imran folder I got one jpeg and one glt 3d file okay this one will be converted the jpeg file i convert to a sprite okay and then if you, uh, you click elsewhere uh, there's a save dialog box click save okay back to the menu we are going to replace the triangle button object icon I replace the source image of the object icon to the with the new sprite which is my own icon wedge variant double click okay so the wedge variant uh, if you go to scene it look like uh, this wedge okay so what we'll do is we are going to put our own 3d model this one my 3d model I will drag and drop into the wedge variant Three D model of myself. Drop play the game. Okay, then go to game. Make sure you activate the mouse. Right click the mouse. Enable device. Continue. Okay, this one you can see. Tap yourself and this moving. You can move. Okay, again it's not animated to fix the animation use the same technique as you do for mix summer watch for Ryan okay so this one is model of me okay so I should edit it from here this is model of myself this one okay so that your 3d model in the wedge for Ryan window sequencing timeline create Okay, then it will ask where to save it. Save. Okay, then drag and drop the model. Add 
animation track and maybe we can find it in the Imran folder. Okay, where's the animation? This one, dance. Okay, so this is the correct one. Okay, another one is under the model, right mode, and put it as loop. Okay, it's animated. Okay, uh, this one, wedge mesh. Okay, I change to cylinder. Try to make the cylinder bigger so it covers the whole body. After playing around with the value, I think this is good enough for the visual. Everything is 0, 0, 0, except the scale is 1, 1, 1. So back to original. So the mesh is cylinder. This one we change and the mesh collider. Okay, we also change this to cylinder. Okay, next, the model. The model, everything is zero except the scale. Scale is all 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So the model is inside the cylinder. And make sure we can see the model by making the mesh renderer inactive, invisible. So now the model is visible. Activate your mouse. Select the 3D model. So if the character is smaller, we can easily select and move them around. Okay, so this one I can push. If you can scan the wall for surface, uh, some of the objects sometimes you can put it on the wall. Maybe you can go for landscape. Okay, so this one will be placed on the wall. 